we read like this in the word of god whatever your hand finds to do do with your might for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in sheol to which you are going so if you are inspired to do something do it now because you cannot do these things in the sheol sheol means land of the dead once you are died you cannot do these we are all going towards this sheol this land of the dead so once we reach there once we die we cannot do these things a proper retreat along with your family members we can only do now i remember one priest told me father you know you are running around and preaching the gospel every day and so many talks and so many retreats so many places you know it is not good you have to take rest you need holy days then we said now god has given us health the strength we have time now we have to do it there will be a time we will become old weak with all the sickness problems tiredness then we will take rest when we are able to do it do it when we have the strength which god has given use it when god has given us time use it if you postpone everything in your good time then in your bad time you will not be do, able to do anything when you are in good when you are strong when you are able don't waste your time just wasting your time sing i mean uh, sleeping and uh, enjoying the worldly things but do something good do it now don't postpone it whatever your hand finds to do do with your might for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in sheol to which you are going praise the lord, praise the lord. Thank, you, thank you jesus so the lord is telling each and every one of us to be faithful to be con- to be committed don't postpone your spirituality if you are inspired to do something good do it now itself and if you feel like re- attending a retreat do it right now i remember one person one priest said i wanted to be with my parents i was waiting to get a chance to go but when i got a chance i postponed it i postponed it because i had some other plans and therefore i went for those plans and i could not go my home and later his when his father died he was crying god gave me so many opportunities to be with my family and go for mass and to celebrate christmas together but i did not do it i postponed it now i will never get a chance to do that the same way mighty brothers and sisters now you have your family your husband your wife your children your children are very obedient to you because they are small when they are small when they are obedient to you be with them play with them enjoy with them talk to them the good things take your family for a walk or an outing for a supper out or something because as they grow they will have no time they will feel ashamed to be with you they will have their own friends to go with and even if they go even if they come with you they will be busy with their mobile phone because they have so many connections than you therefore when everything is possible do it when everything is available do it don't postpone it the good things that you are planning the holy things that you are planning a re- real retreat you want to do with along with your family members do it now in the future you may not be able to do it and that is why the lord says whatever your hand finds to do do with your might when you are mighty when you are strong do it then for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in sheol to which you are going praise the lord, praise the lord. Thank, you, thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you, jesus. Thank you father. father in your young age you are very good in sharp in knowledge and wisdom study well in a young age don't waste your time sleeping the whole night and day but go and study well it may be a hard work it may be a struggle but do it because only now you can do it after 40 or after 50 you can't do it you can't do even when study you can't even remember things and then you will regret there are so many children so many people who are regretting that they could not study well in those days when they were allowed to go for studies now they can't do it therefore the lord is telling us today 
do it when everything is under your control because there will be a time nothing is under your control and then you will not be able to do anything and you will regret all throughout your life for what you have not done